Yeah, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's Proyo here, and today I am playing a little bit of Abandoned Ship. It's going to be a blind playthrough. Um, we are not completely blind, though. We've seen some clips. We've seen some trailers. Um, we've seen a mobile version of the game scrolling in the bathroom, and it looked pretty dope, too. Um, it is what it is. In fact, some of you are probably watching this from the throne as well. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. New game. Main campaign. Call this thing... Titan. We did notice that there were no controller options, so we're not fearing much from the depths of the ocean, except for maybe, maybe, the Kraken. Um, normal... Player-generated name, sure thing. Let's get into it. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Seems like the only option, honestly. Uh, instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon. A small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter. The place is unguarded in our, no, their moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Nice of them to leave them there. Who will you unlock first? Severed one? That's us. We have two and everything. Um. Well, with any ship, you're going to need a gunner, right? Boom. There's that. Um. Life at sea can be pretty tough. Salt water cures all wounds, but I think real wounds should be healed by a surgeon. And then repairing the ship seems important, right? I think we'll stay away from boarding. It's only going to be a few of us. D-Max 12? Do we like that name, though? All right, let's go with it. That is our squad. I guess I will take the role of the navigator slash the guy who's going to stay on the ship, pretty much, and be a fighter and a driver of sorts. Um, Yeah, let's go with that. That looks good. You and your new companion surge through the labyrinth passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through the cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down at the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for. A ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. So, okay, click drag. Everybody on board? Got this. Got this. There, the surge. No. I don't know who you guys are. Sailor. Oh, that's me. Severed one. I can tell by the cloak. Captain has to be fashionable. And away we go. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. 
His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. Daddy, no. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse. No doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. I apologize. <laughs> the coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells incoming. Uh, can you get like... <laughs> Not the surgeon, dude. The barrage has damaged the ship hull, and the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. If this bar is empty, the ship will sink. Alright. Uh, we're divided into sections. That's pretty dope. So, four sets of cannons, whatever this thing is. Assuming that's the sails and the wheel. Or, not, yeah, the wheel. Right? Helm. Helm. I think it's called a helm on a ship. Ship is divided into sections. Uh, we got it. Yellow health means it's 50% effective. Red health means it won't function at all. Good to know. That dude is legit our repairer, right? Good, good, good. Oh, that's sick bay. This is sick bay. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and repair that up. Wow, that really is taking a while. Can you help? Healing up. Perfect. Who is you? The gunner. Take cover. You might as well just hold out on the guns. Oh, sh. <laughs> Hall cracks. These splinters the deck and make the ship take on water. It's now for the ship's bell. This will warn you when your water gauge has reached critical levels. Turn up, bro. Get back on the on this. Or don't. We're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. We are just getting peppered. Flaming ammunition. Alright, so crew needs to extinguish them now. I can already tell there's going to be a lot to manage. There's going to be so much to manage with this. We're out of range, but stay alert, men. I wonder if we get more guys. Because there seem to be a lot of little, little tasks that I think are going to pile up. You are in great danger while you are so close to the cult fortress. Leave immediately. Alright, so we're out. You can see the whole map by clicking on the highlighted button. Alright. Here's our marker. The surrounding frame marks the limits of your exploration. Beyond them lies tumultuous seas. Far too dangerous for a captain to travel or to return from. Then why would we want to go? Let's go. Let's go anyway. I'm not afraid. There might be something here we can pick up. What is this? Left click on it to sail into it. Rolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns. We owe them no mercy. That's exactly the mindset we need to have. No quarter. Remember the lessons you have learned so far. So, to be completely honest, this is the third time we are trying to run this tutorial, and I will tell you why. Uh, we thought we had a bug, and I will go over that um, when it should arise, just in case any of you guys have the same issue. 
uh, you can bypass it. So let's get to it. So we're going to send our gunner guy here. We're going to put our sailor guy uh, here as well. Surgeon guy over here. Weapons reloading. So while it's green, the weapon will reload. If it's red, it will not. You're also going to left click it when it is ready to fire. Right click. Alright. You can also right click the, uh, the weapons to make them auto fire. And then we pause the game. Now, once you dismiss this message, you can issue orders while the game is paused. Make use of this if things are spiraling out of control. <sighs> All right. So these are our crewmen down here in the bottom left. Gives us a little bit of insight to it. I don't know what that is. Clumsy. Always falls overboard if hit by tackler or failed brace test. Our surgeon. <laughs> okay. We got to watch out for him. Old Benton, the clumsy guy. All right. If you hover the cursor over the enemy sections, you will be given information on their status and loadout. Now, this is the point where I was flipping out because I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, nothing's popping up. Is it a glitch? Am I am I bugged out right now? No. The The issue is you can... Um, so you can still give everybody orders and stuff. You can still click through a bunch of things. Just this wasn't working, right? The problem is you have to hover and let it hover until it actually goes through. It takes a second. <laughs> and we were panicking. All right, so that's enemy helm. Their cannons, uh, mast, and their, the enemy sick bay. So active pause. You can hover the mouse over any object or UI element to gain additional information via a tooltip. When you've issued your orders, Unpause the game by pressing the space bar or left clicking. So yeah, I didn't, I don't feel as dumb. It's because I went on line and saw that apparently this was an issue a lot of people were having and they just weren't waiting long enough. So keep that in mind, hover and stay and you can continue to play bars. All right, let's go. Already on it. Surgeon is already on it. I hope he doesn't fall overboard. <laughs> uh, we can move closer. By moving closer, I've, this is a chain shot. You're going to have to give up your... Democratic oath there, buddy. Go ahead and target us some sales. You heal that. We are getting closer. Go ahead and keep firing, buddy. Right there. Go. Do a little bit of swapping. Nice shot. Start targeting the sick bay. Their, uh, their sails are completely down, so we don't need you to go here anymore. You can do this. Let's ram the enemy. Sounds fun. Benton. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Batten down the hatches. The storm's coming. Brace. Mm. The enemy failed their brace test. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They command the winch at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. It's back here. Okay, cool. Now finish them off. You can pull back and keep shooting, or at this range, you can even choose to board them. We said we were not going to be boarding. So we're going to 
uh, maneuver back right here. We're going to keep going where we are. Get another shot off, baby. There you go. Uh, since that's done, go ahead and repair this. You are no longer maneuvering. Get the water out. All right. Well-oiled machine. And that's all it is. There we go. At the end of a battle, you are able to salvage anything of value. You know what they say. Not all treasure is silver and gold. Can we get some peoples? Can we turn them to our side? I doubt it. Grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on their way. We wouldn't want them anyway. Those guys are... We'd have to look over our shoulders the whole time. You don't need to uh, worry about repairing your sections or healing your crew. That happens automatically when you go back to the exploration map. Cool bet. We all just chilling. So... Leave combat. I guess we're going to go here. Fleeing through the gate. I wouldn't call it fleeing. We're just tactically relocating, you know? Honestly, we're kicking butt. Why are we fleeing? We're not fleeing. You announced to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. Feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. Stow them neatly away, knowing they might they may yet have their use. Examine yourself in the mirror. Oh, snap. All right, we'll be a little old salt over here. Severed one. We'll go with uh, Pit. A long lost relative to Brad. You reemerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me they're after. You return to your cabin and slump it. Look, if I'm a crewman and. <laughs> It's me they're after, and I know they got a giant ass crack, and I'm sorry, bro. You probably gonna go overboard. You should keep that information to yourself. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Um, click the highlight highlighted button to see your ship. This is the lone ship view. It allows you to change your default settings that will be used in combat. So you will be here... You will be here and you will actually be up here um, set your default distance actually we'll put you here we'll put you here and we'll go for a close range saving crew position so the thought process is cannons load it Everything's loaded and got a gunner. We're at this range. If they try to, you know, come in, then we'll swap back. We'll destroy their masts. If they try to run away, we're destroying their masts, and then we'll swap back to start chasing. So I think this is a good, uh, I think this is a good little setup. If you ever need to return your crew to their save location, you can press the highlighted button down here. Everybody to. Oh, so it's a little quick return. Nice. The highlighted button can be used to bring your ship about in battle. This can only be performed if your maneuver bar is fully charged. Here you can set your preferred side to face the enemy when you start a battle. 
This can be useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons, such as one with short range and the other with longer range. Okay, that's smart. Good to know. I would never have probably figured that out. These, although this whole side of the ship is confusing to me because, yeah, we don't have the maneuvers like that. Or I didn't think. Apparently we do. Um, return to our return to the exploration map. Oh, so we got a we got a location. Lighthouses have their surrounding fog of war removed, so are visible upon map entry. Gotcha. Easy enough. Go back here. Must continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing from this exploration map. So if we stay on the edge, probably the best route, right? Staying along the edge, staying along the edge, avoiding rocks. Picking up whatever this is. Oh, he held our ship. Nice. And now we're at a lighthouse. What is this? Are there three Krakens? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. What was down here? It looked like a, like a stomach or something. Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars, baby. Alright, let's come up here. The teeth. The teeth. Your early days as a cultist come to mind. So I was a cultist. We just broke free of them for some reason. Day spent testing the shape and strength of your newfound devotion. Racked by existential doubt. You threw yourself from the pinnacle, like so many acolytes after you, into the rocky waters below. You emerged reborn, ignorant of the legend of your rite of passage would become. Coming back to your senses, you notice a body bobbing in the water. Only the most fanatical or sadistic would still force... Heh. <laughs> Not even gonna fake it. Neophytes, maybe? Under their tutelage to prove their love for father in this way. You wish to investigate. Yeah. Sailing closer, you see the body is utterly broken. They must have landed in the shallows, dashing themselves against the rocks. Looks like they weren't worthy of father's love, after all. That's pretty extreme. Like. Alright, look. Growing up without a father, I, myself, don't understand what all the hype is, I guess. But I'm not throwing myself off of a mountain. <laughs> you know, to get a hug. That's that's ridiculous. That's wild. Um, exclamation point over here. It says one of four. So, oh, we have to do all this? That is wild. I keep hitting the, uh, the map. Hot key. Not the right one. All right. I guess we're just willingly going to go... Oh, this isn't a Kraken. This is just like a cultist event, I guess. Cult ship has been doggedly pursuing you for a while now. It's small but light and it's slowly gaining. Fuck. Fight it. Fight it. Samuel, no thanks to you. He's always devout, so you're not sure what you say that will sway him to your cause. Uh... And they really want to get away. Come up, come over here.
There we go. We gotta keep our, uh... Gotta keep our sailor on. Or our navigator on there. Going, keep it going. Every hit gets us closer. We need to take out the uh, the repair. Is our ship leaning? We do have quite a bit of water going. Fix that real fast. We're going to set it up like that so it hits both. Why are they trying to run from us so hard? Repair that. Actually, just come over here. If we get some of this water out, maybe... Uh, That was a good call. That was a good call to Ram. You can see the look of betrayal in Samuel's eyes. He would not surrender nor give up until you, <laughs> until you had paid for your transgression. As he fell, the look on his face said it all. Why? <laughs> Alright, man. Because, you know, we had to make a midlife crisis, maybe. You know, we had to change things up a little bit. I heard of being in a cult. Guys always want something from us. Let me do just let me live, bro. Alright, let's leave combat. That was that. Next. Your heart skips a beat as you notice cult colors flying high on the horizon. The crew allow themselves an extra ration of grog. There you go. You drop to your knees. It feels like a lightning storm inside your skull, and you sense a massive ancient intelligence emerging from it. Scanning the horizon, you see an unnatural disturbance in the water, and it's approaching fast. Oh, no. Get out! Oh, we... <laughs> open waters, I guess? Terrible. You can't avert your eyes to the... I didn't even see it at first. <laughs> Uh, I guess you're going to take over for this. We don't need anything like that. Everybody get away from the edge, especially you, healer, since you're clumsy. Oh, uh, fight. Fight. Now flee before it attacks again. That was the play. That was the plan. Maneuver bar is not charged. Fantastic. All right, get away from the edges again. Trying to keep him as centered to the ship as possible. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I feel better about it. Keep the guy driving the ship on the wheel. Now flee. Oh, it's not just the maneuver bar. Okay. Uh, so I guess we wait again. If it's this much faster than us, how are we going to flee? That's. I guess that's above our pay grade. You got hit last time. Try to stay over here, maybe. 
Oh, are you pooing on me? What is that? It just spewed all over me. Ah. Uh. Brody. <laughs> what a way to fight. So not fair. How do we get away? Look at that. Look at that speed, man. That thing is quick. You've wounded the creature and escaped by cutting its poo arms. <laughs> Somehow you feel in your bones that the Kraken will need time to recuperate before it resumes the hunt. If somebody stabbed me in my butthole, I'd probably need time to recuperate as well. All right, let's get going. Let's see what this one is. It moved, though. You're on a direct course to come within range of an approaching cult vessel. Yeah. Always. Always attack. We ain't scared. Oh, he's coming into us. Nice. Uh, we're going to take out their cannons, right? That's what we want to do. They can't shoot us. Brace! There we go. Oh, wow. We are taking a eating. Robert? Brace! Screw that guy. We're not gonna let them uh we're not gonna let them ram us again we're kind of uh banged up but we're gonna slow them there we go we're not gonna let them run away from us either though we kind of want to teeter right here yeah see how they're trying to come at us again we can see that guys There it is. Boom. There it is. I don't know what Robert thought he was doing. That dude was super confident, though. That's why chicks dig pirates. Back in the day. It's the confidence they had. That man said, I'm just going to board by myself, solo dolo. And I'm going to give you the what for, what not, how so, and where forth. Till he found out. Uh, We need to be doing some like... I know it says we don't need to worry about this. Okay, repair chain. We like it. <laughs> we like it. We need to find this out, though. Like, man, just looking out for the Kraken. I like it. I like it. Uh, uh, so we got all four. Got all four. We can now go all the way back. The Kraken was up here. Recuperating, right? I don't know if he stays there or if it's dynamic. I do know <laughs> we are hurting.
Now the danger has passed, the crew bombards you with questions. You feel responsible and share what little you know. That creature, the cult worship it. It's part of what they called the Great Project. Refocus your efforts on reaching port as quickly as humanly possible for their sake and yours. Nice. Good times, good times. Dull ache in your head recedes slightly, like my hairline. And you realize you can't remember a time without it. You feel more like yourself again and wonder what it will take to banish the ache entirely. The chart you found in the captain's cabin show a nearby port. Land, safe from that infernal monster. The arrow ahead around your ship is a compass that will point you to the nearest hidden point of interest. The compass will not point towards things that have been uncovered from the fog of war. If you follow the arrowhead now, it will take you to the nearest port. That's that's good to know. Uh, once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all still be prisoners of the cultists, or worse, without you. You suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round. The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a cheap room with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can all part ways. Your head aches. More than it should, an unease creeps through your body. Heavy mead is a different story to cer uh, ceremonial wine. Uh, another round? <laughs> Turning this dude into a drunk. Shanties and ballards are butchered. Feet and occasionally bodies shake the tabletops. Just your typical evening in a dockside grog hole. A grog hole. You know, it doesn't sound dirtier than it should. I feel like that's the uh, an adequate way or an adequate amount of dirt projecting from that word, grog hole. Oof. Uh, should we get blackout drunk with, with cultists following us? Hmm. Or my next one on the ground. Another round. A game of blades inevitably ends with blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one hand refuses to let go. And so the burly innkeep helps him fast and airborne out of the door. It's getting late or early. Either way, sleep beckons. Nah, okay. We're starting to draw blood. I I don't know what the game is going to have, but I feel like I don't want to end up with some kind of negative trait where maybe we have an amputated limb or something from a fight or we lose an eye and our maneuverability suffer. Who knows? We're just going to say it's getting late and sleep beckons. Tentacles grasping from every angle. No escape. They predict your every movement attracted unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. Wrapping slowly around you, they pull you inexorably down, 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 deeper and deeper. We're going downtown and a really around. You jolt awake, clammy, head pounding. The rum, surely. Yet it feels more familiar than that. More insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. In Two arms. <laughs> Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of man and sea creature. Superstitious folk tales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Is that right, Halifron? Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Thank God we got some sleep. Angry discussions rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Although, with the health that we have... <laughs> kind of uh you know necessary land offers no haven the cult will not rest until they have you and all free men under their yoke this is a problem only solved by shot steel and willing hearts your best and only chance 
is to strike a crippling blow to the cult to kill the Kraken. Uh. So, if I recall correctly, Jack Sparrow, famed hero, um, he had said that the problem is not the problem. Your attitude to the problem is your problem. And with that being said, we will tell them what we know. We're going to be forthright with our information, with our crew. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can, you know, carry on. The crew stop and listen intently when you speak up. You explain that the Halifron have always been out there, unseen and preying on them, preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. You tell them of your headaches and how you feel there is some connection between those creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't be like forthright with all that information because now it just seems like you're crazy. Again, <laughs> if I was on this ship. And the captain had told me that, you know, the Kraken was coming and it was only after him and blah, blah, blah. And now he's also apparently got a connection with it. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Either I'm out or he's out. Your plan to go on the offensive to cut the head off of the sea snake is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. They are not the heroes of old hunting mythological sea monsters. You cannot force them to join you. On what may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. No doubt. No doubt. And I can't blame them. Honestly. It's just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some more crew. Perhaps coin will buy greater loyalty. The shops are where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new one. Your gold and supplies are found here. So that's that's the old buckaroos, the booty, if you will, right? Or is booty just all treasure? I don't know. I think booty is all treasure, but I also like the idea of just giving a couple booty. Well, just pause. Um, your gold and supplies are found here. Gold supplies repair all seventy nine. We gotta pay seventy nine bucks. Repair all. That's wild. We have nothing left, pretty much. On this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. Oh, sweet. Mortar, don't mind if I do. Click it, click it. How do we click? Oh, we got to click and drag. There we go. You can sell weapons and upgrades by dragging the slot on your ship into the cell box. Um... I'm cool not selling anything. Increasing cannons. That would be fantastic. Uh, that one. Upgrades and supplies. Upgrades improve your ship. You could buy and sell upgrades in a similar way to weapons by dragging them to the correct slot. You can buy and sell supplies in a highlighted box. Checking the miners button means you will sell supplies and receive this displayed amount of gold. So if we sell supplies, do we have to keep any of it? I wonder. I need to know what we need supplies for. You can improve the sections of your ship by dragging your chosen upgrade into the corresponding slot on that section. You can upgrade the section's armor, resistance to hull cracks and fires, repair speed, or performance. Performance improvements can be different per section. The helm will charge a maneuver bar at an increased rate, help us get away from the Kraken a bit more, or a bit faster. Last time it took, what, three attacks? A higher mass level will make your ship move faster when changing distance. An upgrade at sick bay is quicker at healing crew. So there's a lot of good upgrades. Not a lot of money <laughs> yet. We'll change that though, because we're we're pirates, right? We're gonna get all the booty. You can browse new ships to purchase by selecting the highlighted tab, uh, and return to port when you're done. So shipwright. 
bigger ship. There we go. You can customize the weapons you wish to carry over to your new ship on the customized page. There's your current ship. Oh. What do you what would you say I have? I guess I have a schooner, right? Yeah. I'm rocking with a schooner. Nice. Brig will be next. No, we're rocking with a brig. What the? Maximum crew is six, so we can even have more people, which we need. Now that we have a mortar, we're going to have one guy bouncing between three different guns and repairing at the same time. We need more peoples. Actually, we just need peoples. They all left. <laughs> uh, ship storage slots. So this is where we're at. I wonder what the purpose of these are. I guess we could sell our brig, lose a thousand hit points, lose a storage slot and a max crew member for the same amount of everything. I don't know if there's a, where's the mast? This has a mast. What is you? That's weird. All right. So whatever section upgrades. We can't get nothing. Upgrades and supplies. Ship storage. Sell 10 supplies for 5 gold. So we can get 20 more gold if we want it. What is this? Crew can flee to lifeboat when ship is destroyed. We're not fleeing. We're not fleeing. We're not. I don't know what they think is going on, but it's not that. Uh, another round shot. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, that is good. There. I still. I want to know what the supplies are. Or, but. We'll find out later. Approaching a tavern door. Uh, a hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot. Prime to fight. Only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. Okay. We might all be safer together now. That, what a... Tarred us with your brush? Is that something a pirate would say? We might all be safer together now. Plus be a shame if we were left out of the songs about you. They hand you a small heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. You agree to meet back at the ship once you've checked for any potential recruits in the tavern. You can dismiss crew, uh, current crew and hire a new crew in the tavern. The bottom row displays your crew. The top row displays the available crew. Uh, hire by dragging. Okay. So, just like before, we have surgeon, sailor, uh, a navigator might actually be decent. I don't know what this is. Is there a way to see what it is? I guess that's just the maneuver, how fast they maneuver. We don't have it on ours. All right. Accuracy. Okay, so if I hover and hold, hover and hold, that's what got me in trouble with uh, the tutorial. All right. Reduce the accuracy of enemy cannon and mortar fire. Only navigators have the evasive maneuver skill. We don't have that. So, I think a navigator at this point. One of the cheaper ones as well. Uh, man, our clumsy surgeon. 
But Benton is a beast, man. He held us together. All right. So let's go with uh, Milton. Milton the Navigator. That's creepy. Did you hear that laugh? It was super creepy. All right. Um, I think that's all we can do, right? So we return to port. You leave towards the docks, which are swarming with a growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying. The cultist insignia are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. So with that happening, couldn't we have gotten a discount on old Milton? Time to leave. <laughs> Several ships seem to have had a similar idea, attempting to escape the incoming cult vessels. Some slow down and surrender, others speed past the blockade, while some engage in bloody battle. The cultist ship bearing down fast doesn't leave you with much choice. Shot and steel, lads. All right. It is time. It is time to get this battle going. Uh, Milton is on the helm. Good. You. You're firing up there. Let's go. We're shooting at their... We're shooting at their peoples. Ah. Uh. There we go. You thought you were bearing down on us? Nah, bro. We coming for you. Let's go. Uh, Again, right there. Perfect. Get everybody repairing. Uh, you know what? Trace for impact. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Are aquatic monsters that appear on cult vessels. That's the Halifron. They can dive into the water, swim at great speeds, and board you. They are fearsome melee fighters. Be especially scared of ones with red skin. I guess they're elites. We are going to brace. We are also going to get prepared to have... Um, so, Stu Pitt, our captain... Is the only one that's really decent at fighting and that's it looks like that's where the thing is coming i don't know if maybe it boards over here somewhere on the ladder i don't know um we're gonna get our sailor ready him can we yeah we can control click where you got where you at right there you are we're gonna go back There you go. We just beasted on them, bro. The fleeing vessels dealt with three more cult ships act towards you. You rapidly raise the sails. We're going to fight all three. How do we do this? I guess we leave combat and try to get out. I didn't read what that was. Darn. All right, so I think we're at a good point right now where we can go ahead and uh, cut off the Let's Play. Uh, if you've been interested in what you've seen thus far, I'm going to be putting some easy access links below, and you can also pick this game up from Steam for about $25. I ended up getting the, the game from the Amazon Games app. When, uh, when you have Amazon Prime, you have access to a couple of free games and stuff like that. I don't know if they cycle and do a rotation, but when I picked it up, it was right there in the store for free. So I'll leave a link for that as well. Also, if you've enjoyed my commentary, if you didn't enjoy my commentary, maybe the jokes weren't joking right. Um, or if you have any advice that you want to go ahead and give me to maybe make this process a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, um, go ahead and leave your thoughts below. And we'll take a look at that. Throw a like at us. Uh, hit us with a subscribe. Anything you could do would be greatly appreciated. And we will see you in our next video.